Plus on hand. First round of qualifying. First round of qualifying for the Pro Trucks, uh, making their way out onto the grid. Sitting on the point, we find the two of Joe Aquino. And the 57 on the outside of Doug Evans out Chief Duaga. Second row of the inside, we find the 80 machine of, 80 machine of Paul Pileski out of Lancaster. And on the outside, I believe that is the number six of Jimmy Score out of Watts. Third row of the inside, we find the 17 of Bob Manko, who's currently in the top five in points. And on the outside, flying Brian Hoffman in the number 99. The 18 will fall next to mine. Let that first poke ball on the inside. And on the outside, we find the number 21 of Dave Levern out of Orchard Park. They line up side by side, eight trucks making the call. We talked with some of the competitors, Sir Rich Pocabello earlier in the pit. Uh, picked up the win last week. Uh, congratulations going out to him. And he's looking to repeat that this week. Uh, some minor adjustments made to be number 18, uh, Rich Pocabello. His first feature win in a couple years here at Holland Speedway. Ten laps will be this distance for this qualifier number one. They line up side by side. Here they come. Off of turn number four, Doug Carnes looking all over, setting him on the way. You can hear the engine roar to life down the front chute, and into turns one and two with Doug Evans in the 57. He's on the brink, he's on the high side. Off of turn number two, and he's got the top position with the two of Joe Quino dropping back into that second spot, and the sixth machine of Jimmy Scora looking to move on the, in, on the outside. Paul Pulaski in the number 80 doing battle with the 99 of flying Brian Hoffman, who's caught up in the model through turns one and two. And off of turn number two, though, plot. They'll fly down the back chute, and Paul Pulaski looking to make a move on the inside around the two of Joe Aquino. Back on the apex now, off of turn number four, they bring it on down. Doug Evans got company on the inside. That's the number six machine of Jimmy Scora. Scora putting the hammer down, side by side, battle for that top position. They try grant it down the back chute, to the tango, through turn three and four, and Jimmy Scora putting the hammer down. He's got the top position off of turn number four. The throw of the one to him, and Doug Evans in the 57 now has company. On the inside, that's Paul Pulaski in the number 80 to make, trying to make a move for the second position. Through turns three and four now with Bob Manko in the 17, riding in the fourth position. Off of turn number four, they complete another lap of racing. Side by side now into turns one and two. And Pulaski putting the hammer down off the apex. He takes over the second position. Down the back, shoot. Doug Evans in the 57, had the top position, and now is in that third position. The 17 of Bob Manko trying to make a move now around the 57. As he's shown right up on the back bumper, he looks to the inside now trying to get a sneak peek at third. Off of turn two, down the back, shoot! The engine's roar to life into turn three and four. And the number 18 of Rich Pocabello riding in his uh, sixth position currently. Doug Evans now trying to make a move. He's on the outside, Bob Manko in the 17 on the inside. They put the hammer down, down the back, shoot! And Doug Evans in the 57 will lose another position. The 18 of Rich Pocabello trying to make a move on the inside as well. Doug Evans running very high through the corners this, this evening. Off of turn number two now, your racing leader, Paul Pulaski, starting to close in on the sixth of Jimmy's score. He's got about two truck length lead through turn three and four. And off of turn number four, they'll bring it on down. Uh, the two to go to signal on this time by from starter Doug Kahn. The 60, or the 80 machine of Paul Pulaski will put the hammer down again. Off of turn number two, and down the back shoots the sixth of Jimmy's score. Is still controlling the racing action. To the tango now through turn three and four. And off of turn number four, Jimmy Scora quick to close the door. This is the last lap of racing. Does Paul Pulaski have the HPs under the H-double-O-D? Off of turn number two, now down the back, shoot, they fly and soar into three and four. This six of Jimmy Scora, running high, wide, and handsome off of turn number four, the engines roar to light, checker flag, clives to the feet. Of Jimmy Scora, Paul Pulaski, second, and Bob Mango, third, Rich Pocabello, fourth, and Doug Evans in the 57, coming in that fifth position.